the, the original building was a stone built building. This job effectively was conversion, a refurb and also a new build. The house now is a kit house built within the, the confines of the old stonework. So it's a completely modern house that looks like an old house on the outside. The stonework is just purely a facade, so it's a really efficient house as far as insulation is concerned. Modern house with modern windows that just looks like an old building. It started off as a shell basically, a building with effectively very little promise as far as the dwelling house was concerned. And then we, we applied for plan permission to convert it into what it is now, which is a four bedroom. We're very limited here as far as services are concerned. The electricity comes in with an overhead line, private water, we have a septic tank, we don't have a sewage system. We've obviously no gas, so as far as energy is concerned, it's, it's generally speaking, it's either oil or, or bottled gas. And bottled gas is really too expensive, so I chose to go down the oil route to start off with. We were convinced by our heat installer when I was getting the boiler service that because of the underfloor heating scenario, uh, we were running the, the, the thermostat at a really low temperature, so he was more or less advised us that a, an air source heat pump would be the way forward as far as supplementing the, the heating. And I, I asked him, could it be done in conjunction with an oil boiler? and he said he would look into that and he came back with a design that, that did in fact work. Here we have the unit itself, uh, the Mitsubishi Ecodan. It's a 14 kilowatt unit, so it's a big unit, single phase to serve this house which is fairly large. This is tacked onto the oil boiler, it's actually docked onto the oil boiler, so it's a, it's a two boiler system. This unit does 99.9% .9 of the work. The oil boiler is only there as a backup or a standby if you like. Only when the temperature would get really, really cold, which you can do here in the west of Scotland, I would expect the oil boiler to come on, and that would be the only time I expect it to come on. This unit will do everything else. Now, this is an electric unit, obviously. This, runs a f this needs a four kilowatt supply, single phase, which gives us 14 kilowatts of heat out. Now this is supplemented by the PV panels, which is going to give us four kilowatts of electricity. Obviously there's a winter summer split, but that should uh, offset the cost of running this unit. Mike, Mike Anderson and Anderson Floor Woman and Damien, who's their engineer, has certainly helped us all the way through with the installation, with the design, all the correct paperwork, heat calculations per, per room size, uh, heat loss calculations, uh, really good installation, absolutely zero problems with that at all. And it's him that recommended the use of the of the air source heat pump, just because of the low temperature that we run our, our underfloor heating at. He recommended the, the Mitsubishi unit. Previously, with the oil setup, our electricity bill was around about £1,800 per annum. The oil costs, depending on what how severe the winter was, uh, fluctuated from year to year, and so sort of four and a half thousand pounds per year. The system we've got just now with the solar PV and with the heat pump, uh, we're about 2,400 pounds in electricity. That's taking into account the solar input and we're zero oil, no oil at all. Okay, so what we have here is the, this is the plant room. This here is the, is the oil boiler which was what we started off with. What we have here is the, is the, the hot water storage tank, which is, ties in with the heat pump. From, from that, we have the various manifolds and pipes that we use to control the heating system. Down here, there's the actual underfloor heating manifold. These pipes go to the towel rails. These are the hot water pipes. And the pipes above here are the actual pipes going to the radiators upstairs. What we have on the wall here is the inverter for the solar PV that converts the electricity well, from DC to AC. And here we have the meter itself that actually that's where you get your, your feed-in tariff. The house came on a on a personal recommendation to my wife Karen from uh, from one of the local people. She had a definite vision. She has a, a term called uh, "this has potential." which usually means it's absolutely wrecked. <laughs> the floor area of the building is just 500 square metres. So it is, it is a big house. Four bedrooms, and they've all got bathroom facilities, effectively en suites. This is an incredible party house. <laughs> yeah, we do, have, we do have great parties here. Um, we own a bit of land as well, so we have, in the summertime, we have a great time here. The, the, the last party we had over 60 people here over the weekend. Most people that come here, because of the remoteness of it, they have to drive, so invariably they end up just staying the night. And there are kids lying about all over the place and stuff like that. So yeah, it's great fun. It's great fun. <laughs>